Hi Colin, how you doing mate? Yeah, good morning there Jason. Yeah. Uh, we're at Hyde Park Speaker's Corner. Um, it really hit home to me uh, yeah. what you were talking about. What, what is it you're, you're concerned about here? Okay, well God laid it on my heart. I've been coming here to talk to the Muslims and debate with them. And that passage from the Bible about stumbling blocks and little children. We know on Judgment Day we'll be, done, we'll be judged on the things we did and the things we failed to do. And I'm really concerned that at the moment young minds are having concepts like you could be born in the wrong body, placed into children as young as five. Now, once that concept, like an egg, is laid into their brain and hatches, the whole basis of reality is questioned. If you could be born in the wrong body... So, I've been speaking to people for the last few hours and had quite a bit of reaction, especially from young, intelligent women, and I asked them a series of questions. I said, is this a woman? And when I explained to them this is a twice convicted rapist who, while in a male prison, said he was a woman and he transitioned, they put him in a female prison where he sexually assaulted two other women. Now, I've got five daughters and I don't want men like him accessing female safe spaces. But it doesn't stop with transgender, trans species. You can Google, YouTube, any of these things and you will find things that you need to know about. This is a, a man who became a transgender woman, but his transitioning didn't stop, he then became a cat. And there's a famous one here, which is transracial as well. It doesn't stop. It goes on and on and on. Could you yeah. just uh, show us what they're doing with the books in the school? Oh yeah, the books. This is very, very important for parents right at the moment. In primary schools, this is a book that will be read. And uh, Justin Greening, the old education secretary, who happens to be a lesbian as a coincidence, she was the one who made the decision that primary school children compulsorily must be taught about LGBT subjects. So this is one of the books that has been produced for a child's lesson of primary school age. Here's another one. They're very well produced, very well crafted, a lot of money's been spent on them. And you're, hi, God bless you. Anyone who's got children of primary school age, they need to wake up and wake up quick and know that books like this are stocked in the shelves of school, they're encouraged and they're promoted by the LGBT, the militant LGBT activists who actually have got control of the education system. Wow. And as Christians, we need to unite with our Muslim brothers and sisters because there's a school in Birmingham two weeks ago, 99% Muslim, and the headmaster there is uh, homosexual, but he's also an MBE, and he's also um, in line for a, mil a, thou a million pound reward for the global best teacher, and he's put into place a curriculum called No Outsiders, where all the children are learning that two men can be married, two women can be married, there's posters all over the school, and the Muslim parents are taking their children out and they're demonstrating Christians need not be asleep on this. We're AWOL from the fight against the moral evil in this society. And I just want to say in this short time maybe that mankind has got left, because these are really signs of the last days, that we need to stand shoulder to shoulder with anybody who would protect the innocence and sacred nature of childhood. That's effectively it, Jason. Thank you very much, Colin. Thank God you bless you. Have a good day. Thank you.